Hey guys, take a look at that Nissan R390 and what do you notice from my previous video? That's right, it's got four tail lights now. So I soldered on a couple of LEDs to give it four at the back so it looks a lot nicer when it drives. So I'll give it a drive. It's really good when the brake lights light up. On this track I don't need to use the brakes because I rely on the trail brake of the brushed motor. So it's only going to be a quick video. So I'll give you a closer look at the car now. Okay, so it's still driving really well. Now it looks nice with the four tail lights. So I'll make them put the brake lights on. So Still think this is a really good car to drive on the track. Just it's really stuck down, doing really well. So there are three different versions of this body available, which are the three cars that Nissan ran in Le Mans in 1997. So they're unsuccessful at winning, but I can't remember where they ended up in the placements. Here's some bonus footage of my yellow cord McLaren F1 GTR long tail, which is about the same length as the Nissan R390, but this is a 98mm wheelbase, whereas the Nissan's a 102mm wheelbase. So, the long cord McLaren also it sticks really well with the track, so it's really smooth. See the suspension bouncing a bit at the back, that might need a disc down for uh, an oil shop eventually to settle it down. Although my track will get smoother when I can buy another set of the Kyosho track to join on instead of using the DIY join on it. So it's probably almost two months or maybe even longer before I can do that. It just feels like an eternity waiting until I've got a full set of cotton ratio tire hours to set up. Thanks for watching guys. There you can see the cars are about the same. So I hope you enjoyed it.